So I've chosen to do my presentation on Puerto Rico and the things that I will talk about are musica, bailar, comida, and that'll be it. Bienvenido a mi presentación a la Cotra en Puerto Rico. Musica. Puerto Rico es muy popular por el música salsa, reggaeton, merengue y bachata. La música de salsa se originó en Puerto Rico. Here are a couple artists that I've chosen. Don Omar y Elvis Crespo. Algunos artistas desde Puerto Rico es Elvis Crespo y Don Omar. Elvis Crespo es un artista de salsa y merengue. Don Omar es un artista de reggaeton. Bailar. Dancing is one of the best known things of Puerto Rico and Boricuas alike. The rhythm is very in tune with the songs and the dancers are very sensual, seductive, and naturally sexy. Salsa Merengue, which is shown in the top left corner, it was started in Puerto Rico and has been a bold statement of Spanish culture for years. It's a complicated yet very energetic and fun dance. Reggaeton, which is shown in the middle, is a more sexy young age dance involving a lot of hip and booty shaking that plays right along with the song at play. This you see a lot more inside of uh, young clubs. Bachata, which is shown on the bottom, is usually a song that tells a story about love or heartache. It is a passionate yet storytelling type of dance and it's one of the easiest to learn. Comida, which means food. Mis comidas favoritas. These foods I have actually acquired cooking from my husband's family. They are all Puerto Rican. The first one in the top left is an empanada and it's um it's very good. You fry it in the pan, you put some meat in there with some vegetables. It's just one of the best things that I've ever had. Arroz con habichuelos, or habichuelas, I'm sorry, is the second picture, which is rice and beans. Ganepas, which are little fruit that you can find and eat. A lot of times you see this in the Spanish store um, inside of a little bag and you could just buy a whole bunch of them. Chuletas con arroz y habichuelas. That's pork chops with rice and beans. And this just describes everything, um, which I've already explained the empanadas. It's a stuffed bread or pastry, usually with the meat and the vegetables inside. Um, arroz con habichuelas is the rice and beans, which is a very, very popular and common thing for Puerto Rican people to make. Ganepas. Um, they're sometimes referred as a Spanish lime. They're a fruit bearing tree of the soap berry family. And the chuletas con arroz y habichuelas is pork chops with rice and beans. The pork chops are usually fried and seasoned with what I like to call the best stuff, sazón y adobo. Más comida. Fun facts. A lot of people think just because Puerto Ricans are Spanish that all their foods are spicy. This is not true. The orange coloring that you see on many Puerto Rican dishes is simply seasoning, sazón, that adds a bit of flavor and a burst of color. Adobo is also to Puerto Ricans as salt is to Americans. They put it on everything, from fried meats to hot dogs to sandwiches. I've even seen it put on other things than that, and I think it's weird, but that's just the way they are. Like I've seen people put salt on watermelon, so Puerto Rican people put adobo on weird things. Here's an overview of Puerto Rico. Um, it's located in the Caribbean Sea, about 1,000 1, miles southeast of Miami, Florida. Puerto Rico is 100 miles long by 35 miles wide. It's approximately three times the size of Rhode Island. The Koki, which is a small island frog, is found all over the island and is known to be the biggest yet quote unofficial national symbol of Puerto Ricans. You see a lot of this, um, you see the frog on a lot of uh, tourist items that you can buy. Um, sometimes I show the frog sitting down 
next to the Puerto Rican flag. They sell it on keychains, um, all kinds of stuff. You see it when you go down there. And my sources are my husband, Jonathan Gonzalez, which is mi esposo. And the last three links right there. And that concludes my presentation on Puerto Rico.